Hi all, it's Barb coming to you from my craft studio. It's with this part of my Totally Tiffany organization series. Today I'm talking about the Deborah Buddy Bag. This is the packaging for it. Um, it's perfect for pens, markers, and pencils. It was designed with those products in mind. Um, it will hold Copic markers. Just move this kind of back here out of the way. I got 15 in there. And with this bag, one thing you can do if you use it for markers is kind of fold the flaps under, kind of twist the Velcro around, and then put the Velcro here. There's a little stretch of Velcro there just to help you keep the bag open. So then you can just work out of the bag as you're you know, crafting, coloring, whatever you're doing. I'm just going to yank those out of here. I actually keep my Copic markers on my pen and ink palette. If I ever traveled, I might just load Deborah up with some or Denise, because Denise will fit a bunch. Now, I don't have a lot of Spectrum Noir markers. That's what these are. And I'm looking for one that's not this one. These ones are a brand called Hobby Color. Um, I got them at Tuesday morning a few years ago, and they actually had a Crafter's Companion logo on them, so I'm thinking they're very similar. I think the barrel may not be quite as wide, and they're more round, whereas this one has more of a maybe octagon shape. I'm not sure how many sides it has. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, probably, probably octagon, but could be something else up there's only seven sides I'm not sure there's seven or eight there but they're otherwise they're pretty similar in shape so I use that to kind of fill in just to see how many would fit and it's the same as the Copic you can fit 15 in there so <laughs> colored pencils mine isn't full and I probably have around 40 in there and I'm sure you could fit another row or two. I just grab some of the, or no, I, I keep them in this, right there, right. This is down in our coloring station. I just keep a Deborah loaded with some of my colored pencils, which I need to get my, my colors out and do that more. And then this one is in my lettering station. It's got Sharpie brush markers and a brand, they were called Touch brush markers. I'm not sure if they had an actual it's got a Japanese logo on it, but it just says touch. I don't know if you can see that or not there. But they're all brush markers. So I keep what I have there in a Deborah. This is an older style Deborah bag. I mean, it's the same other than this one, the handles on the top. And this one had the pink ribbon. I have to say, um, I like the style. I like the new style handle much better. This one never seemed to be conveniently located for me, so I'm glad she redesigned that. But that's kind of what I used Dapper for. I do have one downstairs, which I didn't bring up, that I just have some items I use when I'm with my planner. I've got like a pair of scissors in there, a few of my dry erase pens, because or not dry erase pens, but erasable pens, because I like to use those in my planner so that if I make an appointment and it gets changed I can just erase it and I've got a few other things that I always use with my planner so it's it's just got an assortment of things in it and I keep it downstairs by where I sit because I keep my planner down there because that seems to work the best for me but Deborah measures four and a quarter inches so four and a quarter inches this way two and a half inches this way and she's seven inches tall the tray the interior tray measures three and a quarter by two and a quarter by four and a quarter so the tray isn't as tall as the bag it doesn't need to be it's just there to give some structure to the bag this is the clear 
you can't really see that on camera, but there's a clear little tray inside there to, hold, to give the bag some shape, basically. But anyways, that's really all that I use Deborah for. I'm going to see if they... They also mentioned it will hold Colorista. I think the colored pencils, the Colorista brand, or maybe it's the Colorista markers. I don't have any of those products, so I couldn't fill it. But anyways, that's a look at how you can possibly use the Deborah bag. And these are two ways that I use her for colored pencils and my brush markers. These ones will go back on my pen and ink palace, but that's just some of the ways you can use Deborah. I hope you find this series helpful, and I want to thank you for joining me, and I'll catch you next time.